Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for September 4th through 10th for Pisces. And you might watch your sun, moon, and rising to get the bigger picture. Um, more information as to the energies coming in for you this week. Um, these are general readings. Take them as they resonate. This is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Um, I am going to begin with the Shaman Stream Oracle to get the underlying energies, uh, the theme for the week. Sorry, guys. Here comes the trash, guys. I closed the windows, but they're still really loud. I'm sorry. Um, let's see what Spirit has pleased for Pisces for September 4th through 10th. What do we have for Pisces, please? Dust Devil. Moving out of stagnation. Look at that. Moving out of stagnation. Okay. You know what? I'm going to look that up and read a portion of that. 15. Moving out of stagnation. The presence of the dust devil causes a ruckus. Some people are afraid of his chaotic nature, believing that he comes to intentionally stir things up. The truth is, you can't expect this dream ally to behave, to bring niceness, to be clean. His power is in the mess he creates as he calls for you to engage in the full cyclone of life. He represents two aspects to you now. The winds in your outer life appearing to throw you off course, where you assume the world is coming at or happening to you, and the winds that churn inside you with the dust devil arising from your dreams, dreamscape to help you escape your invisible chains shackling you to a barren desert. Stop asking for things to be perfect. Awkward, messy, conflicted, exuberant, and wild is how you shift. Trust this process. The dust devil knows what you need when you need it. Once things settle, you will see the gleaming jewels awaiting your discovery, the wisdom awaiting integration. Mm. All right. Let's see what Sunday has. So, moving out of stagnation. Perhaps there's some chaos, but that's to move you forward. Trust what spirit is doing. We have for Sunday, please. Two of Wands on Sunday. Um, okay, following your gut instincts, um, your that inner voice in your decision making. What are your desires? What are your passions? What are you being led into? Okay, so perhaps there is this this chaotic change coming in, this dust devil creating this um, chaos. But it's moving you forward. Listen to that heart guidance. Listen to that inner voice when you make your decisions. What are you passionate about? What is your desire? What do you long to manifest, to create? Where is your heart in all of this? Let's see what we have here for Monday, please. We have for Monday. The Seven of Wands on Monday. Yes. Knowing your passions, your desires, speaking up for yourself, honoring yourself, speaking your truth, uh, speaking with integrity, holding your ground for what you believe, what you're passionate about. What do we have, please, on Tuesday? The King of Cups on Tuesday. Intuition. The intuition, this is your card, Pisces. Stepping into your power, listening to that inner guidance, that intuition. In touch with your emotions, but not being controlled by them. Knowing how you feel. Um, knowing what your intuition is telling you, following that guidance, listening to that guidance. What do we have on Wednesday, 
these on Wednesday. I have on Wednesday. Strength, yes. Uh, tapping into that inner strength, that inner resilience, having the courage, the strength, the determination to move forward in the direction your intuition is leading you. Okay? To make your way through the chaos to the other side. Creating the change, allowing the change, allowing the transformation. What do we have on Thursday, please? The world, look at that. Uh, possibil the possibilities are endless. Uh, the universe, God creator, is looking down upon you with favor. You're beginning this new cycle, this new phase, this new endeavor, this new opportunity. It is blessed and the possibilities are uh, endless. I mean, great potential here. Listen to that inner guidance. What do we have on Friday, please? The Knight of Swords. And yes, taking action, decisive action, swift action. Um, do not hold back. When you have the intuition that it has come in, the clarities come in, the intuitions come in, that voice has come in and you know the direction that you need to take, Take the action. Do not hesitate to move forward. When you get that clarity, move forward and take the action. What do we have for uh, Saturday, please? The Ace of Coins. An opportunity to plant those seeds. Uh-huh. To create that abundance, that security that you seek to create. This new beginning. Wow, I like this. There is change going on here. Pay attention, listen to your intuition, listen to that inner guidance. And take action. When you get that insight, that wisdom, that clarity, plant those seeds. Let's see what we have in closing, please, for Pisces. Ancestral realm, karmic release, healing the lineage, boundaries, creating boundaries along the way, doing the healing work. Um... Let's see if I can find that in the book. Read a portion of that. Let's see. Um, ancestral. I'm not finding it. Ancestral realm. Ancestral realm, page 40. Okay. Sorry, it took me a minute. Because these aren't in alphabetical order. Um, in every incarnation, we've been blessed to be part of a lineage that helps us live our life and embark on learning experiences. Mm. This card initiates healing on all levels, but particularly on the family line. There may be some ideas and beliefs in your family that you find limiting or negative. Know that they need not be your truth. You have the opportunity to go beyond the challenging energies of your family lineage. If you are in a particularly challenging time or facing energies that are harsh and even overwhelming, the energy of your ancestors is with you now. They are here to hold a sacred and safe space so that you can rest. Your ancestors are surrounding you now. They are here to seek forgiveness for any harmful decisions that were made without full awareness and for any negative effects those are having on you now. If you have found that a particular family member has been difficult or a relationship has been negatively impacted because of situations or ideas that stem from the past, 
Know that a great cleansing is taking place at this time. The ointment for the wound is the energy of forgiveness. This isn't about accepting what happened as fine, but realizing that the energies of the past no longer govern your present. It's about choosing to create your own happiness and live from your own heart. Keep your boundaries strong, but be open to carving out a new path. Yes. Here we go. Let's uh, pull around here. And we have Manaz, which is has has to do with men. <laughs> um, this means men, humanity. Get in touch with your inner guidance, your higher self. Who are you? What are you? What is coming in for you? There is change. There is transformation. Listening to that guidance, that intuition, heart guidance, tapping into your inner strength, moving forward in this new endeavor with clarity, planting those seeds for your security, your prosperity, investing. Um, be aware of the messages coming in from spirit, from the higher self, and uh, be open to receiving those messages. This is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Have a blessed week, Pisces.